guys the difference between a sharp and a dull chain today. I have a MS180C that a customer just brought in to me and I asked him if I could make a quick video on it and he was saying he just has a new chain, he's only been cutting a little bit of oak, live oak just like this and uh, it's just not cutting through, it's kind of smoking and burning and he says it's throwing chips but it won't cut, he's having to push hard. So I wanted to come out here and test it real quick and show you guys, let you guys kind of join me for the ride. Then we're going to sharpen it and see how much faster it cuts and then we're going to put a new chain on there and see how fast it cuts. He suspects it's something with the service items. I think it's all about chain. More than likely he touched the dirt while cutting and touching the dirt just for a second can make a dull chain. So we're going to test this out, test out my theory and uh, give this thing a little cut here. Check it out. As you guys can see, it started to smoke. I'm not making much progress. I'm having to push down. It's not really getting anywhere. So we're gonna go sharpen it and test it out again. Check this out. Okay guys, it's gonna be really loud in here. I'm gonna pop this chain off real quick. This uh, 180C has a quick chain adjuster, which I really think is a convenient feature. Hope the thing is smoking hot. Woo! You guys think about that heat is gonna be bad for your nose on your bar it's not good for anything on your chainsaw i get it all adjusted here the goal is not to take off a lot it's just to take off a little tiny bit this is a pretty new chain so i don't really need to lower the raker on it i'm just gonna touch up the edge but i think i suspect you hit a little sand with that new chain my angle is at 30 degrees Sharpening the chain, you don't want to go too deep because you can mess up the actual link of the chain and compromise its integrity. So you're really sharpening the top three quarters of the chain, trying to leave that bottom quarter kind of protected. And when you sharpen a chain, you know, we kind of have our machine all dialed in and we have our special way of doing it, but you do one side at a time. So I'm doing all the right side cutters and I'll go back and do all the left side cutters. You're just looking for that little sparkle right on the edge, right on that cutting edge. That's how you know you're getting it good. Okay, guys, and what you're wanting to see is that point coming to a nice fine tip. You don't want to see it curl too much, and you don't want to see any dullness on that seam. But you can kind of see right here. It comes to a nice infinite point. It's shiny. I'm not getting way down there in the trough. I'm hitting the top two, three quarters, okay? So let's reinstall this, and we'll go cut some more. I like to put my chain on first. This rocket has a little wear, but it's not tragic. Okay guys, so we're back at that original log with a nice piece of oak here. It's been rained on, it's pretty fresh. Here's my original cut. Guys, so I just sharpened it. My angle is 30 degrees. And you want that chain to be what I call cat claw sharp. I wrote her in today because I'm telling you she's a better <laughs> So when, it, when you run your hand over, it should feel like it's gonna grab you and just sink in. And that's what it feels like right now, it feels sharp. And before it looked sharp, it felt okay, but once you got it in wood, you really could tell a difference. But let's test my theory and see if it's all chain related. Uh, if not, we're gonna go put a new chain on. right you're right that chain was dull now she's sharp let's do this guys 
Come on by Main Street Mower. We'll sharpen your chain for you. Come on.